Hi, and welcome to Esprit Tips and Tricks. Today, I am going to show you how to create a simple ramping cut that alternates direction to cut a simple slot, where the tool is the same diameter as the slot width. If we take a look at this part, the diameter of the slot is 0.25 inches. This diameter is the same diameter as the tool we are using. One might approach this pocketing feature with a pocketing operation. However, this would yield a toolpath like this. The problem here is that the ramp entry move is not a consistent length along the entire length of the slot. The desired ramping strategy can be achieved by applying a contouring operation to the same pocket feature. To create the ramping moves down into the depth of the feature on the strategy tab, we can set process order to depth and spiral move to yes. To create the alternating passes, set cutter comp NC to off. G41 or G42 cannot be output if your passes will be going back and forth, since that would change the offset side when the direction changes. When we set cutter comp NC to off, the alternate cut direction option becomes visible. Set this to yes. On the links tab, since the tool diameter is the exact same size as the slot, there is no room to make any kind of lead-in or lead-out inside the slot. Therefore, the lead-in and lead-out distances must be set to zero. The resulting toolpath will look like this, a ramping, alternating cutting direction. This is also shown in simulation. That's today's tip video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter or share this video. And stay tuned for other tips and tricks. Thank <laughs> you.